Wow! This is loud! Phew! Creepy! Must be an Edison! Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Shay, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? Yes, that's right. I know it! You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice! How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. How did he wreck the family finances? Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. But the resident genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. What's wrong with sleepwalking? Ordinarily, nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers a combination to the safe. I find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me, I only drink decaf. I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch it. Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom wall. Don't touch. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. I'll let you get back to what you're doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. Hey, Ted. Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. You haven't changed a whole lot. You know, I bet you'd really like my friend Hoagie. He can pass out standing up and not drop anything. Boy, I wish I had as little on my mind as you do. Purple Tentacle's probably taking over the planet by now. We've got to go back in time to shut off the sludge machine. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world.
It's really dirty. Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. What sort of person would carry around this many keys? Maybe this one. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. Warning! Output from this device is highly toxic and may cause tyrannical delusions if ingested. Hey, Dr. Fred! We have to do something! What do you suggest, college boy? No diamond for the central unit, no power for the chronogons! A mutant monster of my own creation, roaming the countryside, taking over the world! It's a dark day for mad science! Why can't we just fix the time machine? It needs a whole new diamond! Now where am I going to get the money? I thought you were rich! Well, I didn't get all the money I expected from that TV show about us. We had to rent out our mansion as a hotel just to make ends meet! Uh. If only I had signed that contract in time! What contract? Well, after that incident when I was possessed by a meteor from outer space, somebody decided to make a show about us. But they didn't pay us anything. All we got was a cut of the video game. Wow, that thing made millions. Yes, I forgot to sign the royalty contract in time, though. I still have it in my safe upstairs. Let's go get the contract out of the safe and sign it. I forgot the combination. But that's... that's so stupid, Dr. Fred. I know. It gives my enormous brain nightmares. Every night I dream about opening the safe, but I find something horrible inside and slam it shut! Over and over again, night after night! Is that why you drink so much coffee? I haven't slept in two years! You're going to get really chafed hands doing that. Sorry, coffee jitters. Maybe you should switch to decaf. No! Then I'd fall asleep and the dreams would come. How's the mad scientist biz? Not too lucrative lately. We're living mostly on the income from renting out our mansion. That and Edna's tips from her exotic dancing. Well, gotta go save the world. Good luck! Thanks. I needed a little pick-me-up. <coughs> Must open safe. Must sign contract. Must provide for family.
He almost took my hand off with the door. It's Dr. Fred's office. I can see the safe. I can almost make out the combination. It's... Get away from there! Darn! Please give me back my hammer. Oh no! I've lost it! Oh, where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. Well, you know what they say. If you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue, come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you. Upstairs.